All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 76. All right. So we're going to use the filter method to remove the song object that matches the ID parameter from the user data optional chaining songs array. The filter method keeps only the elements of an array that satisfy the callback function passed to it, right? So for example, we've got uh, const num r is this uh, array with numbers in it. We'll have uh, const nums greater than three is going to equal num r dot filter. And then for the callback function, we'll have num and then as the parameter and then uh, whatever num is greater than three will go into the uh, new array, right? So it'll like, it'll check 10, it'll put it in there. It'll check one, and it'll pass it up. Eight, it'll put it in there. Three, it'll pass it up. Four, it'll put it in there. And five, it'll put it in, it'll put in there. And so it'll be like 10, eight, four, and five in the new array. Hopefully that makes sense when we do the console.log. Uh, let's come over here to the filter method just to solidify it a little bit. Uh, the filter method of array instances creates a shallow copy of a portion of a given array filtered down to just the elements from the given array that pass the test impl pardon me, implemented by the provided function, right? So we've got this uh, array of words like this right here. And so now we've got a const result equals words dot filter. So this array dot filter, we have word as the parameter. And so when we have word dot length is greater than six, it'll come into the new, uh, what is it? The new array. So spray has only got five letters. That's not going to go in. Elite has five letters. That's not going to go in. But these other three words are much longer than six. So all three of them will go into the new array like that. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so let's come back over here and we're going to use the filter method on user data optional chaining songs. And we're going to pass in song as the, as the parameter of the arrow function callback and use implicit return to check if song.id is strictly not equal to id. And we're going to assign all of that to the user data.songs uh, array, right? So we're going to note that we should not use optional chaining when we're assigning the result of op, pardon me, of user data optional chaining songs.filter to user data dot songs because the all songs array will not be undefined or null at that point. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by saying uh, user data. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're going to say user data dot songs. So user data dot songs now equals and we'll say user data optional chaining songs and then we'll say dot filter filter, filter, come on now. And for the callback function, we'll have song like this, we'll have the arrow, and then we're gonna say uh, if song.id is not equal to, not equal to ID, All right? So let's go through this, uh, let's make sure it works first. All right, cool. So let's uh, go through this just to make sure because it's a little, con uh, you know, it's a confusing one. All right. So this array is going to be uh, the user data optional chaining songs array, but we're going to filter out any song or the song that uh, matches whatever ID uh, gets passed into it. So like if we pass uh, this one in there, if we pass this one in there, we're going to match it. All right. And then we're going to filter out. We're going to filter out every song except for that one, all right, into this new array. So every song except for nine, let's say, is going to go into the new array. And then we'll change up the array later to uh, make, we'll change up the array later to uh, reflect the fact that this one is now not in there. Hopefully that makes sense. So it's like, instead of actually deleting it, we're just making a new array without that song in it. Hopefully that makes sense, all right? So let's uh, submit it. And now we're on to step 77 and we'll see you next time.